Hello, today I'm going to show you how to remove vocals from a song using AV Music Morpher Gold 4, which is audio editing software which happens to be particularly good at removing vocals. So you're going to need two things to do this, a song and AV Music Morpher Gold, which you can grab from www.audioforfun.com. So, here's how to open the song in AV Music Morpher Gold. So you open Music Morpher Gold up and click on the Morpher tab. And next, like most Windows programs, you can just choose File and Open, which will open the file directly, or you can choose Open from Library, which will open the file from your playlist, if you've got one of those set up. And these controls are doubled on the toolbar here. So here's Open, Open from Library, and tools for editing the playlist are along here. So for this exercise today, we're just going to click on Open a File, and just do it the old way, and open a file using the Open File dialog. So we found our file and we've imported it. So it's, and there you have it. That's how to open a file in Music Morpher Gold. The next step is of course to remove the vocals from the file we've just opened. So it's not too hard. We've just got the file playing here. We've hit the play button down the bottom. And the first thing we're going to do is go down to this Morpher section down below. And using the drop down menu we're going to choose Voice Remover. Because that's what we're going to do. So Voice Remover it is. Click on that. And then the next thing we need to do is click the Activate button, which will activate the sound. As you can hear, it's already doing its thing. This is the Center Width button. This is the most important button. This analyzes the difference in the right and left speakers and works out where the vocal is and gets rid of it. Basically, move the slider to the right until you're happy with the result. The Center Filtering section consists of a high pass and a low pass filter. Basically, moving this high pass filter to the left, the more the vocals are removed. And the low pass filter works in the opposite fashion. Basically, move this to the left to keep more of the original sound and move it to the right to remove more of the vocals. And down below, we've got vocal pitch. Basically, moving the slider to the left is going to get rid of more male vocal sounds, lower sounds, and to the right, we get rid of more female vocal sounds. The notch width is a bit of a wild card, but basically moving it to the right is going to remove sound and moving it to the left is going to add more sound. So there are the five basic parameters and if you just muck around with those and you should be able to get rid of most of the vocals in just about any song. The next step is of course morphing the song, which basically is going to output the song into an MP3 file or a WAV file on your hard disk. So to do this, we just right click on the selected file and from that dialog, we just go down to the bottom and choose Morph. So we just click on Morph and that'll bring up the Morph dialog. We can choose our output folder, so we can put that anywhere on the hard disk we like. And we can choose our output file format. If you don't know what any of this means, just choose MP3. And just hit Morph. Basically what it's doing here is it's creating a new version of the song without the vocals, which you can play in your iPod, burn it to CD, or just play straight from the computer, like this. Just click open a folder, and double click, and that'll play the song. For more information and more tutorials, you can always just jump on our website, which is of course www.audioforfun.com. Hope you've enjoyed the video, and with any luck, we'll see you again here soon. Bye.